JC Xue, Portfolio Manager at Ford Asset Management. I'm here to share more color on the Ajax Japan Fund's performance through the first quarter of 2022. The Ford Ajax Japan Fund declined 4.4% during the quarter, outperforming the MSCI Ajax Japan benchmark, which declined 8%. It was a volatile quarter that saw Russia's invasion of Ukraine trigger worldwide concerns around commodity supply ranging from oil to wheat. Fear in the G3 market soon spilled over to China with renewed concerns around Chinese ADR delisting risk. Separately, there was also worry that China might overtly support Russia, resulting in potential Western sanctions. Investors rushed for exits, driving multiple days of 10% declines in US-listed Chinese ADRs. This was followed by massive rebounds after Vice Premier Liu He came out to calm the markets reiterating that regulators are working towards a solution that will avoid potential delisting. In the volatile environment, Jardine Cycle and Carriage and ITC outperformed. Jardine Cycle and Carriage, a conglomerate with business interests across ASEAN, rose 21% during the quarter. ASEAN region recovery drove a surge in earnings, primarily in Astra Indonesia, a leading automotive and heavy equipment distributor. ITC a leading Indian cigarette FMCG, agriculture and hotel business was up 15.5%. Performance was driven by growth recovery across all segments as Indian economy reopened from COVID restrictions. Our China internet holdings also held up better with the likes of Trip.com, Baidu and Alibaba falling less than the market. Valuations across these names are very attractive after accounting for regulatory impact and China's macro weakness. We believe that undemanding valuation will anchor superior performance over the long run. Not to mention that fundamentally, each of these businesses have strong competitive advantages and structural growth runways. The increased volatility also provided opportunity to add new names at attractive valuations. Kupang, a leading e-commerce company in South Korea, is a name we've tracked since its IPO. We like the business for its maniac focus on end customer experience and its aggressive logistics build out that positions itself as an irreplaceable pipe to fulfill all forms of retail demand. It remains in very early days of running the Amazon playbook, with monetization pathways across advertising, membership fees, and logistics. Market volatility allowed us to initiate a position following a more than 60% correction from peak a level that we view as very attractive. We continue to hunt for such opportunities across Asia and look forward to sharing more details as they materialize in the years ahead.